What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today we'll be opening up a CyberDark Impact box. Yes, the best box that has ever been made, the best set. Yeah, eh, well, maybe I fibbed a little bit on that, but you guys have wanted to see a box opening of this set. This is, of course, first edition, as you can see right over there. And uh, let's hope we get some good. Maybe get some black horns. I, I, don't, I don't know. We'll see. Black horn of heaven. We will see. Or some of these CyberDarks. I like the CyberDark cards. Yeah, a lot of people say this is probably the worst set on there. There's a few good cards in it, of course. It has a lot of mainly good rares and commons, really, even over its hollows. All those Cyberduck cards, again, I've always really liked those. I thought they were cool. Evil Zane used them, so instant cool points, right? Let's see what we get from this. Hopefully, we'll get some cool stuff. Justy Break? I think that was like the sneak preview promo for this set, if I'm not mistaken. Trojan Blast. Super rare. Right off the bat, going with the super rare. Not a bad way to start a box opening at all. Pretty cool looking card too. Not so much for the wooden horse though. Alright, we have a Cyber Shadow Gardener. Ultimate Rare. I wasn't expecting that right off the bat. We're getting all the Hollow Trap cards evidently from this set. Very nice though. I thought that always looked cool. It kind of looks like a Gundam or something to me. I, I don't know. It just looks cool. I think it was Chancellor... Was it Chancellor Shepard that used that? I'm trying to remember. I need to go rewatch some GX. I guess it'll be released to DVD soon. Cyber Esper! Right off the... Let's just keep this going! Keep getting all the... All the hollows right off the bat. Let's get every, every pack in this box. We'll have a hollow now. Let's see. Let's not break the chain on this. This is really funny. I've never had this happen with a box opening that I can remember. Let's see. Can we do this again? Let's get another hollow. And aw, Rampaging Rhinos, you messed it up. You messed it all up. Snipe Hunter. Oh well. We were going there for a little bit. I guess not the whole box would be hollows so. though. Great way to start off a box opening though. Either way. Instant fusion. Then we have Vanity's Ruler for a rare. There we go. Alright, we have a Cyberdark Horn. Super rare. Very nice card to get, of course. Uh, I, I, like I said, I like Cyberdarks. Hopefully we can get the rest of them from this. Be nice to at least get the Fusion. You know, I, I'd really like to get the Fusion. I remember using that... Was it... One of the, the DS games. Was it uh, Spirit Caller? It, it was whatever, I guess, that it was new. You know, it just came out in, the, in that game. I remember using that a lot. See a miraculous rebirth. Yeah, I remember trying to use all the cyber darks on there. I made a pretty cool uh, deck on there because I always always like those DS games though too. Kind of excited about the new game, although I've heard it's not the best in the world. Unfortunately, not too surprising. We have Iris, the Earth Mother. Cool, see some alien cards. I miss that art type. Maybe they'll get some kind of new card. Battery Man and a bunch of the other older ones. Got some new support. Why not aliens? Vanity's call. Let's see, we have a blasting fuse. We have a few more packs to go on the right side of the box. Let's see, we have a flash of the forbidden spell. Fortunately, no black horn of heavens just yet. I can get at least just one, you know, I think that's pretty cool, but get a couple, that would be awesome. Flame Ogre. And then we have uh, Dark Lucius uh, level 6. I know I say this like every time I see a level monster, but seriously, I'd love to see more level monsters. That was one of the things that brought me back into the game, because I started playing the game, of course, when it all started, and then I quit for a little bit, and then level monsters, seeing those, actually brought me back into the game, I remember. So, it's cool to see those. And Black Horn of Heaven! There we are. Uh, first edition and everything. Very nice card to get. A lot of people are trying to get these, of course, from Cyberdark Impact. It's great to get one. It's pretty much like a hollow, so we're just going to put it over next to hollows. Kind of put to the side like that. You might as well count it as one. I think it's probably worth more than, than probably all the hollows in this set, I would say. 
Not sure. We'll have to look up and see if I'm correct on that. Vanity's Fiend, another good rare. That's another one I'm going to set to the side. Those two are like the main rares. It seems like that everyone's after, so... Not bad. Again, I think it might be worth more than all those as well. Let's see, we have a Combo Master. Alright, there we go. Some of these packs are a little bit harder to open. See, and we have Cyber Ogre 2. Uh, Chancellor Shepard uses card. I thought it was uh, really cool back then as well. And uh, yeah, what's cool about it too is it requires two Cyber Ogres to fuse into it. I think there's only a couple of monsters that are like that actually, you know, written out say that. Like the Thunder Dragon and Cyber Ogre 2 are the only two I can really think of off the top of my head. You know that specifically, say. I like two, they're just like, you know, whatever monsters, so. Tell me if you guys can think of any more. I think there's only two, but tell me in the comments. Cyber Dark Edge, another ultimate rare? Didn't we already get one? Yeah. <laughs> well, we got another ultimate rare, and it's Cyber Dark Edge, so that's really cool looking. I like Edge, too, on there. So, uh, I guess now we just need Kiel and, uh, and the Fusion. Let's see. Kind of a mini challenge to ourselves. Let's see if we can get them all. Get all four of the Cyber Darks. There we go. Went in focus for just a second. Lure Queen level five. It's too bad the actual card that says Cyber Dark Impact isn't in this set. When, when did it come out? A few packs after this, of course. I don't remember exactly which one. Well, I thought that was kind of funny. Another Vanity's Fiend. Very nice. Again, we'll set that to the side. Here another Black Horn of Heaven, please. Let's see, we have a Combo Master again. Also, people may be wondering this if you're kind of new to Yu-Gi-Oh! or something. This is an older set, so of course you either get a Rare or a Hollow. You don't get both. That started off in 5D, so I just kind of thought about that in case people are wondering on something like that, whether you think, you know, some of these packs are messed up or something for that reason. No, that's just the way it used to be with the older packs. And we have another Cyberdark Horn. Two of them, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, we need Kiel, but I guess we'll take another Cyberdark Horn. Also, there are the rest of the commons. Don't tell me we'll get the fusion and only have two of Horn and none of Kiel. That wouldn't be right. Allure Queen level 5. Another Snipe Hunter was in the back of that, too. Justy Break. We have a Degenerating Circuit for our rare. We've got two packs left. And we have a Dimensional Inter... Uh, dimensional Inversion for our rare. And last pack. Can we get some good? Can we get a Black Horn of Heaven? Can we get the Fusion? What can we get from this? I don't know. This box has been a little weird on the hollows and everything, so I don't know if we should be expecting another holo or, or what. Black Horn of Heaven, though, would probably be the best thing if we can get it. Let's see. And we have Lightning Punisher. Unfortunately, not another uh, Black Horn of Heaven. Oh, well, we still did really well with that. So we got a... Uh, Two of the Vanity's Fiend, which is pretty good, and then a Black Horn of Heaven. Yeah, that kind of shows how that card's a little bit of a pain to get from this set. First edition, though, so that's cool. And then, of course, for our Hollows, uh, got some kind of weird Hollows, getting two Ultimate Rares. It's kind of odd to happen. So, uh, and of course, two of the same Super. Two Cyber Dark Horns and everything. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. Of course, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, tell me other box openings you're going to see in the future. Especially, you know, a little bit cheaper ones. I know people want to see Legend of Blue Eyes, but what is it, like $800 for a box? 
I don't know if I can do that. So if you guys have like any requests for, you know, anything a little bit newer that wouldn't be near as expensive, of course tell me in the comments. Uh, still a lot of from, you know, 5Ds and stuff that we can do openings for, so I'll try to look out for that. And uh, yeah, just give me some requests, and even on, you know, tins and special editions and stuff too, and I'll try to get those for openings. Thank you for watching, make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Catch you guys later. See ya.